Hello students, welcome back to Tuition Masters and today we are here with grade 9 CBSC uh, one short session or practice session for the chapter Heron's formula. So in this lecture we are going to do very quick uh, revision of the uh, chapter along with some very important questions like two marks, three marks and five mark questions. So this chapter there is not much of theory you just have to remember the Heron's formula that's it there is no much theory or anything is there no theorems or anything just one formula of Heron's formula and uh, that's it nothing else to remember. So yes let's get started. So first one let's understand our first topic I have to go a little bit in detail so let me explain you. Area of a triangle with given base and corresponding altitude. Now students, we know that triangle of every shape has its own area and perimeter, isn't it? Now area triangle is such a shape which can have multiple areas. Means that it will, it will have many ways to find out the area. Now say I have a triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is my triangle. Okay. Now what happens is I want to find the area. Now what two things are given, I have a base, I have a base that is BC and I have a altitude or you can say I have a height that is AC, sorry AD. You can see in this picture, this is my, this part is my altitude or the, um, you know, height and this is my base. Now, if I have in a triangle, if these two things are present, base and height, so you can make a formula that is area of any triangle, okay, of any triangle will be half of base into height, okay. So, this is one way of finding the area of a triangle if you have the, uh, you know, if you have the uh, base given, the height given, so you can find out the area. And even if base is given, area is given, find out the height and all those wise words that you can do. So in this scenario, <clears throat> here in this case, what will be the area? Area will be nothing but half of base that is BC into the height that is AD. So this will be the area. Okay. Now let's see how do I find out the area for right triangle. What is a right triangle? Is there something known as wrong triangle? So, so no, that's not the thing. Right triangle means the triangle has a right angle. Okay. So let's say that we have a right angle triangle ABC. You can see in the figure. It is right angled here at B. Now we have to contain using the two sides containing the right angle that is BC and AB as base and corresponding altitude. What we have? We have that product of two sides containing a right angle triangle into the base so see what happens is now in such a figure in such a figure i get an altitude right but what about a right triangle a right triangle is somewhat like this now i cannot connect it like this that that's not the altitude right it should it is straight always so that is meaning one of the side itself is the altitude so what is the altitude? This AB, this AB is my height or the altitude, anything you can say. That's my height and this BC is my base. So what will I do? I'll do 1 by 2 into BC into AB and I'll get the area. Now comes the main thing that is area of a triangle by using Heron's formula. So basically a little bit thing what is Heron's formula obviously the formula Heron gave okay the old again a very uh, old mathematician who gave this formula now this one thing is you have to remember is this is applicable for scalene triangles okay because isosceles triangles equilateral triangles they have their own areas they have their own formula for the area but scalene triangle doesn't have so that is why this uh, came into picture so what happens is what is uh, let's say that we have a scalene triangle abc you can see in this picture abc the length of side a b is c units bc is a and c a is b units okay uh, small units now if i want to find semi perimeter now perimeter is what sum of all sides correct sum of all sides is perimeter so semi perimeter means perimeter divided by 2 that is semi perimeter 
so what is the length a b c so a plus b plus c divided by 2 is a semi perimeter or we can say that s equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 that is semi perimeter now s is always de denoted as semi perimeter so what is the area of this scalene triangle that is root the whole square root of s s s into s minus a into s minus b and into s minus c so this is what the heron's formula is what is this this is my heron's formula so what is that you all you just have to remember this whatever i taught before i'm going to teach after nothing is important okay like they are important you may use it but the main thing the entire chapter is on this base of heron formula just remember heron formula is the whole root of s into s minus a s into s minus b s minus c multiply that says what is s s is the semi perimeter a b c are the length of the three sides that's it if you know this thing you can easily find any question okay now what are the area of other shapes you should remember that also first one is equilateral triangle now we we can even apply uh, this thing what we say heron formula here also but it's not applied it's no use because equilateral triangle has their own formula now equilateral means all sides are equal correct all sides are equal isn't it so if this is uh, x so this is also x this is also x so what is the formula the formula is root 3 by 4 multiplied by x square that's it this is the formula of equilateral triangle area okay next is isosceles isosceles triangle where two sides are equal correct where two sides are equal x and x and one side is non-equal why so how do you find out the area so where b okay so here the area will be first the base which is unequal side y and the whole root of 4 x square minus y square whole divided by 4 this is the formula here if you see b is each of the equal sides which are wrote as x and a is the base which is y so the area of isosceles triangle becomes a a into okay it's not a root okay if a is for example uh, 3 so you're not going to take the third root it is a multiplied by the square root of 4b square minus a square by 4 okay i saw this triangle next is parallelogram parallelogram means where the sides are parallel to each other so uh, parallelogram what is it the base into height super easy right it was very easy right so why i'm doing now see her i'll explain a little bit trick now if i divide this can you see this is divided if i divide this what can you see i can get two triangles i'm getting two triangles isn't it now what is the area of one triangle one by two into base into height this will also be one by two into base into height so one by two uh, 1 by 2 into base into height plus 1 by 2 into base into height. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is nothing but 2 by 2. That is equals to 1. So that can, gets cancelled out and we get only B into H. That is base into the height or the altitude. That becomes the area of parallelogram. Okay. If in case they ask you ever to prove how you get it. So this is how you can do it. Next shape is rhombus. Rhombus is the product 1 by 2 into the product of diagonals okay what are diagonals now let me show you so diagonals are what these lines which uh, connect to the opposite vertices. this this is my diagonal so there are always two diagonals isn't it in a rhombus so these are the diagonals whatever the length of this this is x this is y you will do 1 by 2 into x into y okay Remember, you have to product it. The two diagonals, you should multiply the length of them. Okay. And the last shape is trapezium. Trapezium is what also known as trapezoid, right? So, where two sides are parallel. Now, what is it? Sum 1 by 2. Half of sum of parallel sides. There are two parallel sides, B1 and okay, B1, B1. They are parallel sides, isn't it? So, sum of them multiplied by the distance. Distance will always be this. 
and this they will always be equal so this is my distance or you can say again the height okay distance or the height all right so that is of trapezium so we studied how many shapes we studied for scalene triangle we studied about equilateral we studied about isosceles we studied parallelogram then rhombus and trapezium so this is all about the chapter heron's formula but the main part comes is they will not ask you what is the formula of this what is the heron's formula no they are going to give you questions so let's start with the questions now okay let's start with the questions now first question is the length of the sides forming right angle of a right angled triangle are 5x cm 3x minus 1 cm if the area of the triangle is 60 cm square find its semi perimeter now what we have seen firstly there is a right angle triangle uh, now diagram not again so you know what you have to do always draw the diagram this is my diagram can every time draw a rough diagram no one is going to until unless they have not given you that draw the diagram so you can draw roughly no one is going to cut your marks so abc this is my right triangle what is given the forming right angle triangle are 5 centimeter 5x centimeter and 3x minus 1 okay that are my length so let's say this is my 5x this is my 3x minus 1 centimeter now the area is given now the area of this whole figure is given as 60 centimeter square we have to find the semi perimeter okay so let's say we have this a right angle triangle isn't it a b is 5x b c is 3x minus 1 okay now uh, can we find out what is these two sides can we find out what is x okay let's find out the length right we can find out the length if when we find out the length of a b and b c by pythagoras theorem we can easily find a c also then we'll find the semi perimeter so let's see what is a b b c so see we know that area area is what area of any triangle area of any triangle any right angled is what 1 by 2 into base into height now base is what base is nothing but uh, bc and height is ab so that means 60 area is given to a 60 centimeter square 60 equals to 1 by 2 into 3x minus 1 multiplied by 5x isn't it now we are finding the value of x so let's take 2 to the other side it will get multiplied 120 equals to 5x multiplied by 3x minus 1 correct now what next if i take 5 to the other side 5 goes here it will get divided so i will get uh, 24 equals to x multiplied by 3x minus 1 correct now what do we get next uh, 3x into 3x is nothing but uh, 3x square so 3x square minus x and minus 24 when we take the 24 to the <clears throat> other side isn't it so can i factorize this this is in the form of a quadratic equation if i factorize it what will i get x minus 3 and 3x plus 8 isn't it i can factorize it so when i factorize it both of them will be equals to 0 so if this is the case so that means x minus 3 x minus 3 is equals to 0 so what will be the value of x x is equals to 3 so we got the value of x now so can we found the, find the length let's find out the length then so what will be a b a b is nothing but 5 x means 5 into 3 that is 15 so this is 15 centimeter okay now what is next next is 3x minus 1 that is 3x is 3 into 3 9 minus 1 8 so this is 8 centimeter now what we have to do just apply pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem says that hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square isn't it now we have to find our hypotenuse only that is ac so ac square equals to b square you can take b anything i'm taking here as um, um, um 8 square okay 8 square plus 15 square these are two sides isn't it 
Now, what is 8 square? 8 square is 64. 8 is a 64. And 15 square is 225, right? Huh, 225. That will give us, when you add them, you will get us 289. This is our answer? No, that's not the answer. That is AC square. Now, what is the value of AC then? AC will be root of 289 square root. That's nothing but 17 centimeter. So, 17 centimeter is your correct answer. See here, the solution is also given. Now, question number two. A traffic signal board including school ahead is a equilateral triangle with side A. If its perimeter is 180 centimeter, what will be the area of the signal board? So, okay, wait one minute, one minute. The question says find the semi perimeter. Okay, we didn't find the semi perimeter. Oh, I'm really sorry. One minute. See, we have to find semi perimeter, right? This is 15. This was. 8 this is what we found out 17 now we will have to add them up okay okay maybe the team forgot to add the solution yes 15 plus 17 plus 8 will give us 40 so 40 divided by 2 gives us 2 ones are 20 is a that will give us 20 centimeter that is the final answer 20 centimeter is the semi perimeter okay yeah so let's come back to our question so traffic signal board it has it is equilateral triangle side is a now perimeter is given to us we have to find the area perimeter as in what perimeter is nothing but sum of three sides isn't it so perimeter is given to us as our um just think what do we say what do we say perimeter is given to us as a 180 centimeter so what will be the area now so let's try to find it out okay so see here uh, what we can do is that first one what will be the perimeter of the signal board it will be 2s let's take perimeter is 2s okay that is equals to a plus a plus a as it is uh, the three sides are equal so what will be the final uh, perimeter s s will be equals to 3 by 2 a correct 2 will go to the other side and 3a now area of triangle what is area of triangle now we got the semi perimeter isn't it we have to find the semi perimeter so i got the semi perimeter so now why am i not taking this 180 because this will be more convenient as it is an equilateral triangle and it's not scalene now see here you know what will be the area of triangle finding with heron's formula area area will be square root okay i'll refer to it as s minus a s minus b s minus c the whole root of it correct right? whole root of it now what is s s is nothing but th uh, 3a by 2 correct multiplied by 3a 3a by 2 minus a and similarly again also i had 3a minus a because all the sides are equal right so, 3 by 2a minus a. These are my three sides and they are square. Correct? This is the answer. No, I mean, not the answer. Now, when I take things in common, a minus a minus a minus a, I'll get. So, they will get cancelled out. So, what will I get? I will get the root of 3a by 2 into a square, a by 2 into a by 2 into a by 2. Why? Because the remaining things get cancelled out. Isn't it? remaining things get it cancelled out now a by 2 into a by 2 will give me how many a's are there four a's are there so i'll get a uh, 3 a raised to 4 divided by 2 2 2 2 2 16 correct now that is equals to what that is equals to uh, third root i mean three uh, root 3 4 multiplied by a square now what is this this is the area of equilateral triangle isn't it area of equilateral triangle is uh, root uh, root 3 by 4 a square so this is the answer isn't it now perimeter is 180 correct what is the perimeter given perimeter is 180 centimeter means the sum of three sides is equals to 180 isn't it it will be 180 so what will be the value of a a will be nothing but 180 by 3 that is 60 oh sorry uh, that will be 
60 isn't it 60 centimeter now we will put it in our formula we will put it in our formula that is root 3 by 4 a square that will be equals to root 3 by 4 into 60 square so what is 60 square 60 square then we will simplify it and we will get it as 900 root 3 because 60 square we cannot do it exactly so we will take the uh, we will uh, multiply 4 with it and then make it in the form of root so it will be centimeter square okay this is our correct answer see here this is the answer yeah okay now see next is a triangular park a b c has sides 120 and 120 meter i'll show you the diagram so 120 meter 80 meter and 50 meter a gardener uh, dhania has to put a fence all around it and also plant grass inside how much area does he need to plant okay first one is how much area first question how much area then you have to find the cost of fencing it with barbed uh, wire at the rate of rupees 20 per meter leaving a space 3 meter wide for a gate on one side very complicated question right so let's do it step by step now see first thing is we have to find the area so let's go step by step so finding the area what we'll do let's find the semi perimeter correct semi perimeter so what will be semi perimeter here so uh, first we will do let's say our 2s 2s is equal to how much the sum of all sides 50 plus 80 plus 120 so what will be s semi perimeter will be uh, okay 80 50 120 250 250 divided by 2 that gives us 125 meter so 125 meter is the semi perimeter now let's do the Aaron's formula we have to find s minus a s minus b s minus c so we'll easily be able to find out so s minus a 125 minus 120 you can take any side it's fine abc you can take it any side so i'm taking 125 minus uh, 120 that is equals to 5 meter then uh, next one 120 125 minus 80 that is 45 meter and uh, S minus C, that is 125 minus 50, that is 75 meter, isn't it? 75 meter, correct. Now, can I find out the area first, right? I can do that. So, root of S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C, that will give me the Heron's formula. So, what will I now? I have all the values. So, 125 into... 5 into 45 into 75 the whole root of them now when you multiply them you oh, what will you get see this 125 125 into 5 gives us 625 multiplied by 45 that gives us uh, uh, 20, 28125 into 75 will give us around 2 2 lakh 109 and 375 yeah somewhere around that so we cannot write that way so we'll write it in a simpler form we'll find out factors and write it in the form of 375 root 15 meter square so our first question is solved that is finding the area so we found out what is the area now next is we need to uh, do what we have to even find out the cost also okay so we know that some of the Three sides is what? It is 250. So, length of wire. The length of wire. Now, the fencing wire is required. So, what will be the length of it? It will be 250, the whole. And minus, we have to do 3 meter for the gate. So, minus 3. That gives us 247 meter. This is the length. Now, we have to multiply it by 20. So, cost cost will be 247 into 20 rupees that gives us uh, 70 rupees of 4940 so this is our answer uh, rupees 4940 is the cost and 37 root 15 is the area okay now let's move towards our uh, next question so the answers are here present for you now 
Next question is an umbrella by stitching. 10 rectangular pieces of cloth of two different designs, each piece measuring 20 cm 50 50. How much cloth of each design is required? So this is an umbrella you can see in the picture. It's made up of 10 triangular pieces. 10 triangular pieces. What we have to do is that we have to uh, each piece measuring each piece and the dimensions are given. We have to find out uh, the how much cloth of each design is required. Okay, so let's do that. So this is a question. So let's try to do it now. So firstly, what we have to do first is now the sides. We have the sides 50, 50, 20. This is also 50 centimeters given in the question, isn't it? Now, uh, what will be the semi perimeter? We have to find the semi perimeter, isn't it? So semi perimeter s will be uh, a plus b plus c divided by 2 that is 20 plus 50 plus 50 as given in the question divided by 2 that is 120 50 to 100 and plus uh, 20 120 divided by 2 that gives us 60 so 60 centimeter is the semi perimeter now let's find out with the heron's formula okay so what we will do we can even find out what is s minus s minus v right now also so let's do it it will make our calculations easier so s minus a s minus b s minus c so let's find it out so we have first is 60 6 uh, 60 minus 20 is 40 then uh, 50 then 10 and 10 both will be 10 10 so what we will get what will be heron's formula so heron's formula will be uh 60 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 10 into 10 the whole square root of this correct so when you multiply this again you will not get a huge number you cannot find square root so you can make prime factors and write in the form of 200 multiplied by 6 centimeter square this is the area of one triangular piece okay this is for one now we have to find the area of five triangular pieces okay Five triangle pieces, it's given in the question, right? No, how much cloth is made? Okay, uh, it's uh, in the question, it's given as 10. Okay, it's given 10. Okay, there's a mistake. It's not 10, it is 5. It's in the image, it's 5, right? Yeah, so we'll go as per the image, it is 5 rectangular pieces. Okay, so for 5 area of 5 triangular pieces. So 5 pieces are given, so what will be the area of them? So that will be nothing but 5 into the area of 1 that is 200 root 6. So that will be 200, uh, yeah, 1000 root 6 centimeter square. So yes students this is the answer and we have completed with the today's session also. Thank you so much for attending it. I hope it was informative. We completed the full session and the full chapter as well and did some very important questions which can come in here exam. And this was a premiere. We will coming live very soon. So till then, stay tuned and make sure you're liking the video. Share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it till now. I'll be seeing you very soon with more informative video. Till then, take care and goodbye, everyone.